What are they called? So that? my question, my question that I was going to throw at you is kind of news related. So I'm going to throw it in right now. You just said there's no more news. This isn't news. This is a this news is a related discussion. News. What? It's news related. It's news adjacent. I'm um, related. So my question to to you, Alan slash Notagog, and uh, you, Sam slash Stupid Cow, if you choose to answer, um, is there any point at this point? trying to avoid spoilers and data mine stuff etc because i know that like going into like the the phase one like the start of sod i was like i didn't want any spoilers i wanted to experience it fresh and then going into two phase two i put some effort i was like i don't really want to know everything but like some information seeped through and now going into phase three the the whole like discovery aspect seems to be lost on the vast majority of people and everyone just kind of knows everything already and and it's so like these data mines and these spoilers are so saturated into the community that like is there any point even trying to avoid it sure i like spoilers good talk so let's move on to the next <laughs> why why if you choose to remain We'll, we'll call it ignorant, but in a positive light, uh, just to experience it. Because I discovered with the last release of, well, when okay. they released Phase 2, I discovered some runes on my own, and it was fun. And nobody had to tell me where they were. Um, I found we, precisely nothing on my own. We we found the, the letter we found running RFK. I found that chest sitting on top of a rock. And eventually, once I hit the upper level, I said, you know what, I'm just going to look around and see what I have to do now. So, I mean, I cheated at the end, but that was at the end. Um, I let, you know, I stayed in a little bit of ignorance for a while just for fun. So what are your thoughts on it? Do you want to know, Josh? Well, no, it's not so much that I want to know. It's just even, even just being in game, in guild chat and in general chat, like, it's just everybody seems to already be talking about phase three right and like we knew way before it was announced that what the raid was going to be i mean blizzard did announce it in the end so it's not like a spoiler necessarily but uh they're they're spoiling some of their own i mean they're not saying how to get them but they're they're saying some of the runes stuff like that i'm just but they, they part of me is like why not just kind of go read all the data mine stuff and see what's coming so you could prepare because i know for myself with with hunter um I got all the way to 40 without stumbling across literally anything. And then I finally looked up my runes because like I was exploring, I was looking for stuff. I, I found nothing. When I finally went and looked, I was like, I wouldn't have found any of this stuff. Like, uh, like I just, I don't, I don't have that kind of time. Like the, well, the only thing I discovered kind of organically was the one dark rider. And if I didn't go look it up, there is absolutely no way I would have ever figured out what that was for. Sure, the, you would have the, the done it the way you did it. What? I said, yeah, you would have done it the way you did it. Like looking it up? No, you organically encountered a Dark Rider. And then you yeah, got the I, drop, and you would have taken that quest, they would have directed you to the person in Deadwind Pass. And no, then no, 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 there's the quest. You have to collect all seven. There's, there's no quest. No, it's the, just an the item. item is a quest. What? The thing that Dark Rider drops is a quest. You turn each one in. No, but it doesn't start a quest. Does it not? No. no. You have to actually you would to find it on your own, you would have to be going through Deadwind Pass and find the guy. And even then it's still not a quest. You need to uh you need to actually just talk to him and he gives you a thing to to summon the Dark Riders and then you go get the items and then upon turning it in once you have them then it becomes a quest like a like an instant turn in quest so like there's no like when you kill a dark rider like if you're just out and you see a dark rider standing there and you kill it and you get the drop it's just it's just an item it doesn't point you anywhere it doesn't say anything it's just a like a like a sketchy dalaran relic or something like it doesn't say anything yeah, but then you would have wow headed where to turn it in. And you would have gone there. You would have found, oh, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah, no, but I would have. I'd had, had to wow, so but the, the, I had to look it up. And like one of the other runes, there is a there is a fish at the bottom of a lake in Arathi Highlands that you kill for the rune. What? Why would I be at the bottom of that lake? 
I'm not just going to I'm not just going to happen across the quest at the bottom of this lake. There's no reason for me to go to the bottom of this lake unless I just while searching for my runes swim to the bottom of every body of water in the game. I'm not going to do that. That's very time consuming. And there's another there's another hunter rune that you have to go to a specific spot in Stranglethorn Vale and you have to cast flare or no, sorry, you get a debuff that says something. And then when you get that debuff, you have to cast Flare on a certain spot, and it makes a mob appear, and then you kill it. I'm not going to find that. I don't know how anyone found that. Like, that's insane. Like, that, that, one, that one specific, it's like a five foot by five foot circle in, in, in Stranglethorn's Veil, which is a, a huge zone, by the way. You just happen to you just happen to see that debuff appear and think, huh? I should cast my flare a few feet over that way. That would never the, pop into my head, debuff? not in a million years. What's that? What is the debuff? I don't remember. Well, what it says, rune is like, it? Do you know what rune it is? Um, I want to say. Oh shoot! What's that one? Um. Yeah. It's the it's the one that when you crit you get agility. Invigorate. No. No. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um like like it's just basically like I love that they're like complex quests and interesting to do, but the more complex they are, the less likely it is I'm gonna find one. Yeah. Like you see at least with the rogue, when you hit a certain level and you go into a city, you get mail. And it says go yeah, to dead drop. Like none of the other classes get anything like that. So And again, I'm not complaining about the complex quests. I think it's cool. I'm just not gonna find it on my own. Okay, I'm just so flat out not. This one that gives you the agility. You're killing a dust belcher ogre in Badlands until you get a primitive drawing. Yes. Which begins a quest. Well, that's the start of it, yeah. Takes you to the Terror of the Desert Skies. Is it exposed weakness? And then you go to see yes. Hemet. You received an empty bait cage from Hemet and use it to capture any critter. Then you go down. That is not that's not the same that's not the same rune then. I'm thinking of a different rune. Alright, well. I feel like there's there's got to be some lead into I don't know, but no you do that you one it. that one's different that's a quest drop, but I mean unless unless you're down killing those ogres, um you're not gonna just you're not gonna just find it and the thing is like I did the was there a quest to kill those ogres? I don't know. The thing is it took me I like I looked it up and I knew, and in knowing that I had to kill those ogres I spent almost an hour killing them those ogres before the quest dropped okay but then somebody so like, else will get it and tell you well i know that's that's the point though like i'm saying i'm not going to find it on my own likely yeah and harath the highlands with needle tooth maybe you just happen across it yeah well there's it's there's people that are going out and searching and like like you know like i just don't have i don't have time to search every inch of the world yeah, but if you've gone over to fight the trolls, that is a small body of water. You might have seen it. As a the hunter, thing you is, might have though, seen it. I doubt it, because I've done the quest to kill those trolls. I can't even count how much, because I always go quest in Arathi. Mm -hmm. It's one of my favorite zones to quest in while leveling, because I just I like it. It's a nice zone. And I've never once jumped in that water and swam down to the bottom of it. Okay, so, so this is like Easter. We know there's things out there. We have to start looking in places we wouldn't think to look. Yeah. Or we can just look up clues. That's what see that's that's my I like that. That's that's my opinion. I think there should be more more clues. Okay. Like and the like the rogues get with the mail. Like I like that. Yeah. That's a that's a start of something, right? It's a quest that you are sent on. The 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 chance the chance factor I don't like. Like the having to stumble across it. It's just, it seems like a lot. Okay. So with with this one here, when you reach the coordinates it gives you, which looks to be in a pretty common area, it's somewhere near Nezingwary. Yeah. Um, you're, you get danger. 
Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I would cast the flare. If you're in danger, there might be something invisible because you don't see it anywhere. That. But the thing is, I that was the first time I had ever used flare because it had never occurred to me to ever use flare for anything. Yeah, but if you're in danger and nothing's appearing, then it might occur to you. But I'm just I'm just playing devil's advocate. Well, I'm saying advocate. it didn't. I'm saying it didn't occur to me. It I'm, just, I'm just I playing devil's that advocate. Thing. I'm just you playing what? devil's advocate here. Oh, I know. I, and I'm not like I like danger. Okay, it obviously popped into someone's head because someone found it. But yeah, they like, data mind. <laughs> even knowing even knowing the exact location I had to go to to get that danger, it was still hard to find. Like I still had to run around for several minutes. Because it is a it is a tiny spot to yeah, stand on to get that. He could be off. he could be anywhere. So it's and even then when I, when I found it, it took me several tries with the flare. Again, even knowing because I read the guide, even knowing exactly what I was supposed to do, it took me some time to figure out exactly where the guy was with the flare. So not when you did it for me. Well, no, because I already done it for myself. Or do you have a hunter as well? Yeah, Sam has a hunter. Fat cow. Oh, nice. Why'd you call me? Oh, no, okay, yeah. <laughs> so I'm looking at the other one where you have to buy a field kit and an entomology starter kit. And trap launcher. I still trap haven't done trap highway launcher. robbery. Everybody gets highway robbery. Do they? Is that, a, is that everybody has a rune that does that quest? Yeah. Is that the oh, one that leads to the elite? No. No, I don't know. No, I just read it and I was like, this out. seems like a lot. I don't feel like it right now. And I still no, haven't done I it. I have to do that one with my rogue. And we can grab the uh, Hinterlands flight path and the wine while we're doing it if you want. All right. Do you have to be level 40 to do it? No. I doubt it. So I can do it too? Well, you Probably. have to be level 40 to pick up the wine quest. So you just don't do the wine quest. I just want the trap launch. I don't play my hunter. Well, the you wine might, quest though, is deep red. Launcher. The thing is, what? from where you kill the, the, the night elf, especially yeah. if there's a shaman there, although the shaman's already done it, you just go across the water into Hinterlands, and you're going in through the back of the base, which we never did before, but there are wine bottles before you even get into there. And then you get the flight path, you got nice, like, lots of nice fishing in the area. Yeah. Does Druid need that quest? Everybody. Everybody does. The trap launcher one? What's which druid rune is for it? Because I didn't do that with my druid or Sam's druid. Um, oh, yeah, while you're yeah. looking it up, though. So yeah, but my my point though, because it sounds like I'm complaining about like the runes and how hard they are. That's not what I'm complaining about, and I'm not even really complaining. I'm more saying like I'm not going to find these things on my own. So I'm more leaning towards just just reading what's out there, because like like a. I don't like people are finding these fast and that makes me skeptical that they're actually finding them Yeah. because some of these runes that they're finding on day one or like as soon as they hit 40 or whenever because like most of the runes were solved a couple days into phase two and in the back of my head I'm thinking so okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna use um uh, we need you know what we need a groaning sound effect an exasperated groan sound effect because I'm going to use an EverQuest analogy. So, with the with the first expansion that came up from EverQuest, they had epic quests that they added to every class. I've referenced them before. I talked about them uh, about like a classic plus how I thought they should have something like it, which is kind of how the runes work. So it's basically it's a quest line that each class gets. You complete this quest line and you get like a class defining weapon that has some kind of cool ability on it or something and they're these long like long very involved quests usually involving some raid fights and a lot of like little go here and find this obscure item go here and find this obscure item and stuff like that and when these were introduced into the game back in like the early 2000s maybe 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 even 2000 i think it might have been 2000 um they it took some time for them to get solved but they they were all eventually solved all of the epic quests were solved so then the discussion starts wow how did people figure these out because they were even more obscure and like impossible to figure out did than the runes are no i would no 
I was not that involved back then. Um, so the question that was going around is how did people figure these out? And the answer was a lot of the game developers were feeding information to some of the top players. So nice. they were players that had an inside track. They knew somebody that worked for um, whatever the Sony, I guess it was Sony at the time that ran EverQuest. Um, and they were getting, they were getting hints. They were like, try going over here and try, try this item might be important. Try grabbing that. They were getting, uh, they were getting some inside information. And so in the back of my head, as I'm seeing how fast some of these obscure, almost impossible to figure out runes are getting solved, I'm like, is there some inside information going on here? Probably. Is it is it data mined? Apparently, you can't data mine the rune quests. I, hey, I don't know. Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? What? What? It's the streamers. It's the streamers. I knew it was the streamers. Totally their fault. But anyways, <laughs> like I don't, I don't think all of these things are being solved honestly to begin with. So why should I put myself at a disadvantage trying to figure them out myself? Because I'm just flat out not gonna. I agree with you. But I'll probably still, going into phase three, I'll probably still wait a few days before I look yeah. at any information. I'll probably still try and level and see what I find on my way. But we're also on a PvP server, so I'm probably going to be leveling in dungeons anyways. So I'm not going to just happen across something in... By yourself. Like, in, like, Zulfarak or something. Um, but yeah, well, that, that was that.